Hey everyone, this is Black6 from BZ Power here to bring you a look at LEGO's presence at Toy Fair 2014. Uh, LEGO is kind enough to invite us and a bunch of other fan sites and other uh, toy news sites to come up to uh, New York for the event and get a sneak peek before the convention floor was uh, fully open to see their offerings for 2014. So huge thanks to them for that. Uh, BZ Power already has posted a lot of coverage, so if you check out our site, which there should be a link to right now, you can see all of our Toy Fair coverage, where we uh, took pictures of pretty much everything that was on display, and in addition to the pictures, provided uh, set name, pricing, and availability information for uh, as much as we could uh, to let you guys know what's coming and when. One thing that was pretty unique to this year uh, was they had a couple big announcements, uh, one being the Lego Kuso set of the uh, Ghostbusters Ecto-1 revealed by Tim Courtney, who is uh, on, on site, and it was good to catch up with him. And also, uh, Metal Beard Sea Cow was revealed at the event as well. Uh, it's pretty interesting because those uh, are both direct-to-consumer sets that aren't usually available at uh, most common retailers like Walmart and Toys R Us. They're usually only available through uh, Lego Shop at Home and Lego Stores and some select other retailers. So it's good to see that for a change and uh, good to see Lego uh, doing something for, uh, for the press and uh, fan sites like that. Definitely appreciate it. Anyway, we're almost done uh, going around the outside of the booth, checking out the uh, sets they have displayed uh, inlaid into the walls to catch the uh, eyes of passersby and some uh, vibrant artwork, as well as a couple struck uh, big sculptures of the uh, Friends dolls, and uh, you'll see shortly of Emmett from the Lego Movie. Uh, once we get inside, we're going to take a look at some of the... Uh, uh, themes most relevant to BZ Power that I think you guys will be most interested in. If you have any questions or uh, anything you want to let us know or want to learn more about about these sets, just uh, leave a comment or you can go post on BZ Power and we'll be happy to uh, answer to the best of our abilities. Uh, so, I think we're just about back to the front of the booth, so let's get ready to go inside. Alright, here we are at Hero Factory, starting out with the Queen Beast, the largest Hero Factory set this year. Comes with uh, Stormer, Ferno, and Evo. I can see got some nice uh, insect-like claws in the translate blue, which are pretty awesome. Uh, Evo's got his little vehicle, and uh, you got these new egg pods that are uh, in the summer sets that are kind of interesting. We'll take a closer look at them uh, later. Uh, Evo's vehicle, much better than his walker. Uh, maybe not as cool as Evo XL, though. Definitely uh, serviceable. Down below, we've got the Surge and Raka combat machine. So it's a quadruped kind of thing with, uh, looks like a part on the back that pops off to become a flying machine for Raka. Uh, some nice use of uh, blue and uh, interesting in that, you know, it's a non biped set like a lot of the first half ones were. Um, some pretty good details. All right, now we got the Crystal Beast. So again, we've got the egg common theme. Lots of trans uh, light blue in this set, which I think goes really well with the neon green. Uh, we've got the drill machine up here, which, uh, I don't know, looks a little silly with those flick flyers on the side, but it's uh, cool to see again, you know, go going away from the bipeds. Um, and uh, some good details and a lot of use of Technic uh, in this set, which uh, makes it uh, a little unique. All right, here's uh, Breeze's Flea Machine. Comes with a grappling hook claw launcher thing to capture eggs. Again, using a lot of Technic parts for that. So uh, that's cool. You can see uh, some of the other sets have had these too. The Hero Figs have the new guns uh, that we've seen this year. The Tunnler Beast, which is unique in that it's the only summer set that does not come with an egg. Instead, it has one of the kind of egg pieces on the back. Makes me think it might be a, a hatchling or something. Uh, and of course, it's got uh, Surge there. And finally, we have the Raka Crawler. A uh, good source of gold. Uh, the only biped in the summer half. And here we take a closer look at the egg. It's actually three separate pieces with a Technic piece in between. Uh, very squishy and rubbery. 
All right, now we're on to Lego Movie. So we've got Emmett's Constructo Mech uh, new set coming out. If you've seen the movie, obviously you know where this fits in. Um, definitely captures the movie look, even if it's not as big. And it comes with Angry Kitty, so you can't go wrong with that. I have to buy this set now just for that. Uh, we also have Emmett's Spaceship, 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 uh, which is really cool. It's got some great minifigures. You can see it's got Wild Style in her spacesuit. A couple of robot guys, which definitely invoke the classic space feel. And it's got some ships that pop off on the sides. Lots of great detailing. Oh, there's a spacesuit kitty. Uh, lots of great detailing. Good attention to detail. Uh, definitely captures the old classic space look. And I'm really excited uh, by this set. And uh, I think it's a pretty good value at $100. So uh, it's pretty awesome. All right, we've got the police dropship uh, from the pretty pivotal scene in the movie. Captures the look pretty well. I'm not a huge fan, but this set definitely has a lot of play features. has a cockpit that fits, fits to the secret police agent's uh, laser cage in the back. Uh, so these are the minifigures that come with the dropship, except for the tinfoil Emmett who comes with the spaceship. So we've got the Green Ninja, Batman, and Johnny Thunder. Moving on, we've got the biggest LEGO movie set, Metal Beard Sea Cow. Uh, was in a kind of interesting display case, uh, so it makes it kind of taking pictures a little hard, but you can see it comes with a smaller version of Metal Beer, comes with a double-decker couch and a plethora of minifigs, including Seasick Kitty. Again, I, I need to get this set just for that. Uh, lots of great detail. Definitely looks just like the ship in the movie, although obviously not quite as big. Um, but, you know, it's got the, the sails, the turbines, you'll see the propeller on the back. Um, it has six actual cannons, a couple of micromanagers to fight, with, fight off. Um, six actual cannons, three on each side, plus a bunch of fake, fake cannons, just to kind of give you the effect. Uh, I think it's a first for a LEGO set to have six of those cannons. Really great look overall. Uh, of course, there's the actual cow with wings on the prow, because it is the sea cow. Uh, nice propeller details on the back. Um, you know, there, there is a full interior. If you check out our news on BZ Power, you can see more of that. Moving on, we've got Ninjago. Uh, most of these sets are already out, so you've seen the, the new dragon. The uh, battle for Ninjago City is new for the summer. Comes with uh, a little tripedal mech there. Uh, Zane with his little glider. Uh, and then, of course, the main set is a dojo kind of thing to represent the city. It's got a lot of great details in there. A nice little zip line that goes to a tree that Lloyd is uh, flying down to. Uh, we've got the, the dropship here. Again, uh, you know, the set's already available. Still, still pretty cool. So I think this might be my favorite Ninjago set this year. The uh, X1 Ninja Charger, basically a souped-up race car, has a motorcycle that pops out of the front. Uh, definitely a lot of great detail. Look forward to that coming out this summer. We've got the Thunder Raider. Uh, you can check out our review on BZ Power of that. And uh, we've got the Overborg Attack, a uh, little Hover Hunter, and finally uh, the Kai Fighter. All right, Chima. So the summer sets are all based on Fire and Ice. Here we've got the big set, the play set, uh, which I didn't realize, even though I saw a picture of the box, that the whole thing converts into a giant phoenix, which is pretty crazy. The minifigs in the summer sets are pretty great. There's a lot of new molds. Uh, we've got transparent arms and legs uh, in trans blue. We've got these new kind of phoenix birds. Uh, lots of tan in the set. We've got this uh, little vehicle that fights it with uh, the saber-toothed tigers, again using that uh, new insect claw kind of piece which we also see in the giant elephant uh, you see some of the minifigs again with the new molds there you can see the transparent arms and legs really cool for Lego to do uh, lots of trans light blue in this set uh, nice saber tooth tiger with the claw club little motorcycle and the new elephant figs really cool uh, you can see another one's potting that uh, here we go We've got uh, I think Lovell's uh, vehicle here with a giant Elephant fig, like what? What's up with that? Thing's pretty cool, and uh, of course, Lovell's uh, friend there, Cragger. Uh, I've got uh, Eris's eagle set, um, which I think uh, looks pretty good, and uh, d definitely gives a good eagle robot kind of vibe, and I'm sure has some good play features. 
and uh, has a uh, you know, new uh, saber-toothed baddie and uh, some ice that's melting out of. This set is supposed to be a saber-toothed tiger. I thought it looked kind of like a beaver without a tail. Um, maybe that's just me, though. Uh, look at those big teeth. You know, it definitely looks like a beaver. Uh, again, cool figs, lots of translate blue in these sets, uh, which is really cool if uh, you're a fan of that color. Uh, nice leopard fig there and uh, vulture. So some good uh, variety in uh, the summer wave of Chima. I definitely like the fire and ice theme. I think it fits really well. Uh, and definitely looking forward to maybe picking up uh, one or two of those sets, even though I'm not usually the, uh, the biggest Chima fan out there. Last up, we've got the Ultra Agents line, kind of a revamp of uh, previous Agents uh, superhero line. Uh, here we've got their HQ, moving HQ, with some pretty sweet minifigs. Uh, definitely some good printing jobs, like this James Bond, Alfred look looking combination. Some cool vehicles, uh, lots of play features in the, the van. Uh, even a nice detailed cab, which uh, you don't normally see, and a cool uh, little mech that comes along with it. Uh, then we've got the Hurricane Heist, uh, lots of nice olive green, uh, you know, it's a kind of mecha thing that the legs fold up and turns into a flying vehicle, so that's pretty cool. Again, I think the minifigs in this line are pretty great, especially this guy, the, the pilot. I'm not sure what's going on with him, but he looks cool. I like the body armor prints, too, on some of the, the uh, agent's figs. This is probably my favorite one. It uh, looks like a Tron light cycle, and look at this awesome minifig on fire. But the, the trans blue here works perfectly, and the wheels fold, and it turns into a hover car. Um, almost definitely picking that up. Here we've got uh, the Toxiquitas Toxic Showdown. Lots of trans neon green on that helicopter. It makes it look pretty sick. I like this fig with her, her cave girl hair on the uh, the droid with the toxic fuel rods. Um, this set, pretty cool. Again, you can see the body armor on uh, the agent's fig. And I like the fists here that uh, are on this little tank. And uh, the bad guy here is pretty sick with those fists. And the small set, uh, nothing too crazy except for that trans green head on the minifig there. And uh, I think that's going to about wrap it up for our Toy Fair coverage. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, be sure to check back on BZ Power and our YouTube channel for more videos.